simple question, Karina, first of all. If you got the £250,000, what would you do with it? So, basically, what I would go away and immediately do is look for a location, get the second location, get the vans that were, would be required to, you know, locate product from one shop to second shop. This can all be something that I can go away and do if we was to shake hands today. Scarlett, same, same question, really. Um, yeah. What would you do... What, what are you going to do with the money? Uh, but my initial thoughts would obviously be getting a bigger premises, some kind of service office, and two heads I think we need to bring in initially. Um, and my objective is to grow that client base more and more, so I'm feeding those roles in. That's the way I see it, and then it's more researchers that are coming in, so it's going to be more cost-effective. But your effect... Look, look, put it bluntly, I yeah. mean, in any which way you want to put it, you're a start-up, then. Yeah, well, we're, yeah, we're like nine you're months in. You're a start-up. Yeah. And she's an established business. I don't think that's accurate. I'm, I'm sorry, you're not... I don't think Karina's business is an established business. Well, it it's been is, running for a year and mine's been running for a year as well. We've already got a reputation in the market. I've already got a client base. On top of that, I've actually got 10 years of experience within my industry. I'm actually experienced. I've got a reputation in industry. So for me, that doesn't qualify as a startup by any means. I mean, I can only take and listen and go by what I've heard today. And potentially, if you invest in another recruitment agent, is it, yes, it, c it can make money, but it, it's when? I already make money, OK? Mm. So I already make money in shop X. I can go away, ticking over, fine. I'm mm. totally confident in who's there. I can go and start making money the minute mm. I leave here today. From an investment perspective, I'm not just sort of a year into this journey of doing something new. I'm 10 years in the industry. I know what's good, I know what's bad, I know what needs to be done differently, and I'm prepared to push the boundaries and do different things. Right. Well, both very driven people. Very, very driven people, and I would say two of the best finalists that I've, uh, I've had for a very, very long time. So, I'm going to conclude here, really. It's a difficult, it's a difficult decision to make. Um, I think, Karina, the worrying concern I have is this scaling up of other branches. And, Scarlett, um, I think also you are grossly underestimating the, uh, the fact that you're going to incur lots of costs once you start to roll this thing out with more employees. And that's where my head is at the moment. Um, well, having said all that, um, shops I've never had, the only thing going for you is that it's food. And that when you look at the high street these days, that's all it's packed with, food. Scarlett, two past winners are recruitment companies, um, and do I want to throw more eggs into that basket? I'm trying to think of um, the scaling up of your business, the scaling up of your business. Um, but uh, I like the idea of more bread. So, Karina, you're going to be my business partner. Oh my God. Thank you so much. So, Karina, I really look forward to working with you. Scarlett, best of luck in the future. Ladies, off you go. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks for everything. Day.